Can we talk about Steam families now, though? Yeah, let's jump. Let's jump back to that. Speaking of things that were unsustainable, playing games with my kids is a huge problem because up until now, um, every kid needs their own the copy of everything. Every kid needs their own copy of everything, and that will still be true to an extent for anything that's online-based multiplayer where we all want to play at the same time. But one of the bigger problems for me has been that unlike you know, 10, 20 years ago, where I could buy a library of games and anyone could play any one of those games at a time without interfering with the others, the way that it's worked on Steam up until now, you can share your library with your family but only one of you can use that library at a time. And it didn't used to be such a big problem because offline mode was a, was a pretty good workaround. You could just launch the game on one machine, go offline, then launch a different game on another machine and leave that one online if they're playing something that requires multiplayer. Or in many cases, you could just get away with it. You could just launch the games one after another and it would just kind of work, even though, strictly speaking, it wasn't supposed to work. But then Valve locked down offline mode a lot more. They do a lot more online checks and it got to the point where it wasn't doable and they started enforcing their one game from a library um, per in use at a time policy much more strictly to the point where I would log in to do a quick benchmark at work and it would kick my son off of Rocket League at home or whatever the case may be. And it kind of sucks because it used to be you bought your whole library of games and anyone could play them as long as you weren't both playing the same game at the same time, then you know no harm, no foul, right? Um, well, guess what? Valve is taking it back to that. So they've launched Steam Families on the Steam Beta Client, which is a collection of new and existing family-related features to replace both Steam Family Sharing and Steam Family View. A Steam Family can consist of up to six members, and everyone in the Steam Family gets access to any family sharing compatible games in their other family members' libraries now. So instead of only being able to play one game from a library at a time across the entire family, users can now play different games at the same time. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. Adults consent parental controls, <clears throat> controlling playtime limits, allowing access to appropriate games and more. And a child account now has the ability to request for an adult to pay for their shopping cart, making it way easier for parents to purchase games for their kids. And for, as a parent, way more importantly, making it way easier for kids to not purchase games on their own. <laughs> <laughs> because in the past, you basically had to choose between the inconvenience of having to go down and enter your credit card information every time or the risk of your kids going and buying stuff with a saved credit card in their account. Now, I do see a downside to this. As a developer, People how do I it. feel about my games being eligible for family sharing now that family sharing is so much more convenient and so much more powerful. Like family sharing was basically so kneecapped that I essentially didn't use it. I ended up buying multiple copies of games just so that I wouldn't have to worry about interrupting my kids while they're playing when I want to play or when I want to benchmark something or whatever the case may be. As it is now, it seems like um, a lot fewer people will have to do that. And as their own independent living, breathing organisms, you know, should my kids be entitled or my roommates or my friends or whoever my family is, should they be entitled to play these games they didn't buy? Um, will I be less likely to make my game eligible for family sharing under this system? What would you, how would you feel? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm reading through the FAQ right now because I'm trying to get a vibe for like how a family unit could be formed. Because one thing that I'm worried about if I'm a developer um, is the, you know, uh, a, a close knit group of six friends at school form a family um, and share one Steam account amongst all of them. And, and, and polycules are totally okay. I'm not judging. Sure. Yep. I mean, there's um, like 32,000 in the Seattle one and it's growing every day. <laughs> um, it's not sustainable. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound like there's any limitations to like under one roof or anything like that. Um, 
I, I'm actually not really finding pretty much any limitations at all. Um, they, they do say that the, the terms of how they define a family is subject to change. So maybe they'll figure that out over time. Um, there's also some interesting stuff. If, if you leave a steam family, um, you will need to wait one year from when you, from when you joined the previous one. Oh, that's not that big of a deal. Oh, interesting. So you can't just like float around from family to family. No. But one year from your join date of the previous one, not your exit date. So if you if you okay, well that that kind of makes sense. That could be a zero day difference if you're at above a year. Um, yeah, as long as you as long as you don't. Um, well, basically, it says that you don't have to mourn your old family for a year. Yeah, as long as you were with them for at least a year. <laughs> yeah, which might be good for some people. You know, things happen in in family kinda units. Makes sense. Um, it's just yep. I, I don't know. I would want to enable this. But it is definitely a scenario where I, I guarantee you people are going to misuse it. Now, honestly, in most I plan situations to use it at work, man, our benchmark accounts, we're only going to have to have a couple of copies of every game spread out across all of our benchmark those, accounts, which those is going to make it them way are, more effective for us to use. Those benchmark accounts are in a family, dude. They're all. They're well, all yeah, it's clearly not a family, other. though. So, like, yeah. There's definitely uses for this that are not going to be family. Now, I yeah. honestly, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. Um, us basically not, not having to buy like five copies of every stupid game just so that we can run them for 20 minutes every week to benchmark and if it them is, or whatever. But if it is that friend group from school... I used to share games with my friends. You'd trade games all the time, temporarily. Like, uh, oh, I have this SNES game. You have this N64 game. We both have both consoles for some reason. I don't know why I made this analogy this weird, but uh, you can borrow this one. I'll borrow that one, and we'll trade back in a week or two, whatever. That was total, very normal. Um, I understand that making it all digital and making giving it the ease of use of something like Steam is going to massively increase the amount of that trading that happens, but you are sort of locked into this family unit for a year at a time, so it's not like you're jumping all over the place based on what game you want to play. Um, so, I don't know. I hope it goes okay, because this seems like a really cool thing. Um, and honestly, the main way that I would potentially use it is to like encourage people to pick up a game themselves. Um like here, look, you can borrow this for a bit. I've definitely never lent anyone my origin account so that they could try out Titanfall 2 and then convince them to just buy it for themselves afterwards. Um, that's definitely never a thing that I've Which, done. Which, by the way, neither of us is recommending ever doing. Do not lend out your game accounts. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, yeah, I don't know. I think I would be okay with it. I think I, think I would turn it cool. on. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's good. I, I'm a little bit worried about how this might go, <clears throat> but I really hope it goes well because I think it's overall a very good thing. Yeah. And I think, so, honestly, it might encourage the I sales of certain games. I can't say that of everything. 